yesterday while stopping for gas on our way home from work. That woman, also a member of WGN security team. WGN's Kelly Davis is joining us live from police headquarters tonight with an update on the investigation. Ray and Micah, police have that surveillance video in hand, and the family is hopeful that it will help them identify the suspects involved in this case because the shooting happened at a gas station in broad daylight in the South Shore neighborhood. They're hoping that they come to some sort of conclusion in this horrifying case. She has uh, a personality bigger than life itself. Sheila Claiborne reflects on her little sister's life. 35 year old Selena Claiborne was a hard working mother of two girls. So I say her life was pretty full and she loved every minute of it. On Monday afternoon, she received a tragic phone call from her daughter. She said she didn't make it. <laughs> Sheila reflects on that horrifying moment when she found out her younger sister was shot and killed. And she said she didn't make it. And I later found out that it was some type of carjacking. Selena was a beloved member of WGN's security team, working for Allied Universal Security. Really bubbly person, really friendly, outgoing person. She had just left work Monday afternoon and stopped for gas at this mobile station at the corner of 67th and Jeffrey in South Shore. Police say she was sitting in her car when a black sedan pulled up next to her and someone inside opened fire. Some guys got out and gunned her down, shot her right in the face. Claiborne was transported to University of Chicago Medical Center where she died. She leaves behind two teenaged girls and a mother mourning the loss of her youngest child. I am heartbroken. I don't know if I'll ever be okay. Chicago police are talking to two people of interest in this investigation and Selena's family hopes they find some answers. How many more are uh, people's children going to die <laughs> for no reason? What what can we do? Enough. What can anybody do? Somebody's got to do something. Please help us. Please help us. The family set up a GoFundMe page to help Selena's two young girls, 13 and 14 years old. It would also help pay for funeral expenses. We have the link to that on our website, WGNTV.com. Live at 35th in Michigan, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News. Thank you, Kelly.